everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I want to do a very quick vlog for you this morning on how to refresh your curls. So a lot of you have been asking me um, about basic techniques, like how I plop my hair, how I refresh my curls, and I've been really rubbish and haven't quite got round to it, but I'm gonna do it today. So I washed my hair yesterday morning and had it out all day, and I pineappled it last night before I went to bed, and this is how it looks. You can see it's not a particularly pretty sight. For those of you who sleep like Disney princesses and wake up looking beautiful, then genuinely, I'm really happy for you. But I do not, and this is how my pineapple looks in the morning. So you can see at the back, it's really frizzy, and yeah, it's just a bit of a mess. But I have a really good way that I refresh my curls and get them back into spirals and looking really nice and defined. There's a lot of ways you can refresh your curls. So some people use just a spray bottle, either filled with water or filled with water and some of their product, Personally, I don't mind doing this for touch-up, like sections of hair, but I find that if I start spraying my hair, it makes it really, really frizzy. So what I have to do is make it really wet, um, and then I put more product in my hair, and then just kind of start again that way. So spray bottles are good, but personally, they just make my hair a bit fluffy. Very important is which styling product you use. So those of you who follow me on the blog will know that I love Jessie Curl's Spiralicious Styling Gel. products I've reviewed I always come back to this just because my hair really likes it has exactly the right amount of hold my hair also feels really nice after using this not crunchy or dry and it's always really shiny and bouncy so this is really really good now personally my hair is very frizzy and coarse and very badly behaved when it comes to styling so this is quite a strong whole product um, but yeah it's amazing I love it also ingredients wise this is spot on if you're curly girl so I highly recommend that if you've got similar hair to mine. My method of refreshing my curls involves minimal fiddling with my hair. There's no brushing, there's no sectioning and spraying. It basically involves getting more water back into my hair so I can then reapply more product and those curls that are already defined from where I washed it are just refreshed and re-spiral and look much better and hopefully get rid of all the frizz as well. Normally I would refresh my hair in the bathroom sink, obviously, but because of camera angle tripod logistics, I'm gonna do it in the kitchen sink for you today. And plus it's a bit bigger, so you'll be able to see what I'm doing a bit better. So I know the lighting here isn't great, and I apologize for that. And also I apologize for looking like a bit of a hag, but I just woke up, so tough. This is basically what my hair looks like before I refresh it. So this is not an appropriate hairstyle to leave the house with. And so you can see the curls have kind of disappeared. The back looks horrible. This is what I need to sort out, and I'm going to show you how. What I want to do, I'm basically going to stick my head over the sink, and I'm going to squeeze water into my hair, down the hair shaft. When I'm happy that it's quite wet again, I'm then going to put more product on my hands and squeeze that through. So I'm not disturbing the curl pattern or the defined chunks of hair I've already got. I'm just making sure they're wet and they've got a new amount of product on them, because then I can re-scrunch them and give them a bit of a zhuzh and hopefully make them look less like a scarecrow. I'm kind of getting handfuls of water and I'm just squeezing it down my hand shell. And it is going to get a bit soggy, so be prepared. And this way I'm not spraying, you're not misting water all over your curls, so they're just not going to get frizzy, because I find they do when I use the spray bottle. So that's one side, just to see, my curls are very wet. Always concentrate a bit on the ends as well, because I have to use the ends in the back. And again, squeezing water, step through. And then I'm going to set the middle of the hair in your wet hand and squeezing. You're making sure all the water is getting right into the curls. I always find that the back here gets quite fluffy. So you can see how wet my hair is, but I haven't messed up any of those curl sections. All I've done is put water back through them. If you feel any slightly dry sections, like here, I can feel that there's a bit that maybe hasn't got enough water, and just keep adding the water. Next, we're going to get our product, and we're going to put a good size amount in our hand. So I've used about that much. 
and rub. Make sure it's distributed on your hands, in between your fingers, and we're basically going to add a little bit more water to that, just so it's really wet. I'm going to start scrunching that back down the section, very lightly, light touch. I'm going to graze it over the top. It's easier if your hair isn't too hard, and then you can just squeeze your product back through your hair. Really squeeze it in to get a good distribution. Now, this is the time to pay particular attention to the front. So you can just push in some product to those bits that might go a bit frizzy. And this way, you can see, I've still got really nice defined sections of hair with a minimal frizz. There's some very bizarre camera angles today, I'm sorry. So we need to do the underneath, which is very similar to what we did on top. So I'm going to flip my head upside down. I'm going to make sure that the hair underneath is very wet, which I think it is. Apply another small amount of product, just graze it over the top, and then I'm going to scrunch some product and water back through to make sure everything is all covered and even. Literally, tiny bit of product, I mixed in with a lot of water. I'm going to flip my head upside down. Tiny bit of product, and then I'm going to go through. And you can hear my hair is nice and wet again. The product feels nicely distributed, but I am just going to add a little bit more to the ends because my ends are always frizz. But just a tiny bit. Okay, so at this point you can re-plop your hair if you want to because it is quite wet compared to other refreshing techniques or you can just gently tip your head back over and part it where you want and then carry on and let it air dry so that's what I'm going to do. So you can see my hair is quite similar to if I just washed it but obviously not as wet. The roots I haven't really touched that much, I've kind of left them. But I have really concentrated on the ends and the middle of the hair to refresh those nice defined curls. It is quite wet so you can just give it a quick scrunch with your t-shirt and as I said, you can just plop it as normal after you've done it with your head still upside down. So I'm going to go do stuff, and then once it's all nice and dried, I'll show you, just so you can see the results that you get. Hi guys, I'm back. So as you can see, it's about two hours later and my hair is completely dry and I just wanted to show you the good results that I got from doing that refreshing technique. So you can see all my spirals are back and perfectly defined. If you have a look underneath, again, all my spirals are perfectly intact. There's very minimal frizz and it's very similar to if I just washed it this morning. So I really like that way of refreshing. And this is also why I really like this Jessie Curl gel because it's very forgiving, it's very difficult to put too much on and even if it feels a bit crunchy when it first starts drying you can always scrunch it out to really nice, soft, bouncy, shiny curls so it is a really good product and I highly, highly recommend it so from this, if my hair needs a bit of zhuzhing I'll just tip my head upside down and scratch at the roots and then you can tip your head back up and it'll give it a bit of extra volume but this should hold absolutely fine until tomorrow so I hope this video has helped if you like it, please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as well so you don't miss anything again in future. I've had a lot of requests from you guys to do some more sort of technique videos, so I'm going to do them. I need to do an updated plopping video, which I will do for you, and also just my routine. I keep getting asked and which products I use, so I will do that for you soon, I promise. In the meantime, take care and thanks for watching. Bye!